The eighth reading comes to us from Ezekiel, the valley of dry bones. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out of the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. They were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will lay chenoos on you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked and there were sinews on them and flesh had come upon them, and the skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, they, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. Here ends the reading. Let us say together Psalm 143. Lord, hear my prayer, and in your faithfulness, heed my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For my enemy has sought my life. He has crushed me to the ground. He has made me live in dark places like those who are long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart is desolate. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul grasps to you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. Of your goodness, destroy my enemies and bring all my foes to naught. For truly, I am your servant. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the Passover of your Son, you have brought us out of sin into righteousness and out of death into life. Grant to those who are sealed by your Holy Spirit the will and the power to proclaim you to all the world, 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This story from the prophet Ezekiel is one of the most powerful images in the Bible. Easy to remember this story, especially if you learn the song that goes along with it as a child. But it's a very serious story. It is a parable, a vision of what might be possible. What might be possible, not just for an individual, but for a community to have the breath of life breathed back into them when they seem dead. To come to life and not just back to shuffling around, but to a full, blessed life, one that inhabits the promises, the possibilities of all that life can be. Just as we reflect on resurrection, Resurrection does not mean back to the way things were, necessarily. Sometimes it's very different. Sometimes the legacy of having had those sinews fail and those bones dry up lasts and changes. But sometimes that change can be something that gives life to a different level than had ever been experienced before. And so as we reflect on the paschal cycle of death that births new life, let us pray that the spirit that comes back into our dry bones time after time, as individuals and as society, as as a whole people and community of God on this earth, that we will grow and expand and know more fully what it is to truly live. Think on this.